Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Sturt, and y'all already know we live. I'm about to be going over my stream settings, bit rate, uh, CPU usage, all of that. My actual stream setup will be in the description. So before you start this video, um, look in the description, and you can kind of compare and see your setup compared to mine. Only thing we'll do right now is go to speed test and test the internet. So if you got an internet connection similar to mine then you should be fine like if everything is similar to mine you should be able to run what i'm run come on dog you be able to run what i'm running essentially so this download is i but when we stream and download is not really what you're looking for that's for your connection to the game you want to look at your upload so my upload is decent i'm not at school right now so when i was at school it's like 80 upload so i stream pretty much on any bit rate i wanted but decently, you only need about like three or four megabytes per second to be able to stream at like 2,500 bit rate. But anything over like 10 is, or I mean, anything over like five, I guess is like pretty good. You can look up like bit rates and like your upload speed. I don't know exactly like that, but this is just mine. And if you have a faster, better connection than mine, then you should be fine on your bit rate. And obviously if you have a better PC, you shouldn't be struggling because I had some people DMing me that was like, um, I can't stream, I, I keep chopping, losing frames, and they got like i7 8700K and a NVIDIA 1060, and I'm like, I have less than that, and my stream is just fine, so <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull up my options. I can't click nothing because obviously I'm recording this, but all right, so we go through the general. I'm going to show you my stream settings. I'll put when you go to output mode, advanced, so you can see all the tabs, streaming, under streaming. Okay, one audio track. When you got this encoder, you can use it through, you can encode through your graphics card or you can encode through your CPU. If you encode through your graphics card, it's going to obviously put stress on your graphics card because you can be streaming through your graphics card. And if you don't have a good graphics card, you don't want to put more stress on your graphics card because you want to save as much performance as possible to when you're playing a game. So, so you can get obviously the best frames as possible. I got it on X264 because I have an AMD 2600X. It's not the best, but it has six cores, which allows, you know, like, obviously better for like multitasking and stuff, uh, which is another reason I got an AMD processor. But rescale output, uh, 1280 by 720, because that's what I stream at on Twitch. Um, rate control, you want that on CBR. My bit rate is 4500, but one thing about bit rate, your bit rate, depending on your bit rate, the higher it is, the more bandwidth is gonna require for the internet provider on the person watching your stream. So if they don't have good internet and you have a high bit rate, they're not gonna be able to watch it. If you're on Twitch and you're not partnered, you should not have probably like a 5K bit rate. It's no point of having like a 5K bit rate trying to stream on like max settings because a lot of people will not be able to watch your stream if you're a smaller streamer. And if you're a smaller streamer, you wanna be able to pull in as many viewers as possible. You don't wanna be blocking people out because they, they stream keep buffering because you've got a too high of a bit rate. So you can put your bit rate down like 2,500 to 3,000 and based on your internet speed, you'll be able to just, I mean, you'll be able to tell like what bit rate you can use. You can look up some bit rates and uh, I'll try to link something in the description for like bit rates and upload speeds. But just start off at like 2,500 and you'll see how it look. Then you can move it up and then you do like some test streams. People will let you know if they, stream is like buffering on their end if it's not like the majority of your viewers they might have to lower it for the majority of your viewers obviously so they can watch 4500 what i would say is go ahead and type in like 3000 if you don't have the best upload speed 2500 to 3000 and then uh keyframe interval on two then your cpu usage if you have a very good cpu like a real real good cpu you can put that slower so um you can't see it right now but it would be your drop down list and the items will go down. So the lower you go, which is going to be like very slow, slow placebo. The lower you go, the slower you go, the more CPU usage is going to take up on your PC to put out a higher quality stream. Um, the higher you go is going to be the less CPU. So mine is on faster. A lot of people put it on very fast. But like I said, uh, I'm usually only playing Fortnite when I'm doing it. And it's only going to take up like... 30 percent which is not bad and fortnite only take up a little bit more and then i still got over half my cpu usage uh so i just keep it on faster and y'all can see my stream i'll put like a twitch clip of my stream it's gonna be like 
a little bit less quality than it is on Twitch because YouTube uh, downscale. But I'll show y'all that. So you can have this on very fast. You knew, like I said, you just put it like put this on 2500. Put this on very fast. Uh, have it on 264 if you have a better processor than you have a graphics card. If you have it using your graphics card, it's going to be less quality even with the same settings. And you obviously go take frames away from your graphics card because you're using both to play on and stream. Uh, so very fast. Keyframe two. The recording is irrelevant because unless you're recording, and I'm not doing a video on like recording right now. A lot of people just hit me up because they can't stream and they have better uh, setups than I do. And internet speed, like I said, is good or decent. So 1920 by 1080 camera resolution. 1280 by 720 resolution. All right, my downscale filter is sharpened 16, 16 samples, which makes it look as crisp as possible when it's downscaling without being so blurry. You can put it on very fast, which means it'll be on uh, the next, first option. It'll be like fast but blurry when scaling. So it'll be like a little bit blurry when it's like scaling and you moving fast as possible. Uh, FPS type, comma, FPS value, 60 FPS. <clears throat> and one thing, if you're getting like a lot of blurry choppiness, that's because of your CPU usage, not, not like choppiness, but like when you turn in in your game, your bit rate and your CPU usage, you turn those maybe like the faster and then put the bit rate up a little bit more, you'll see it not be as blurry when you turn. Like you might be able to stand still and your stream look clean or whatever, but as soon as you get the moving, because Fortnite fast paced game, as soon as you get the moving, fast paced, but not obviously faster than like League of Legends or something. But as soon as you get the moving, it, you see like bro like you can't even see what's going on or get the moving crazy building or whatever so uh audio just got it desktop is coming through my headphones your audio you got headphones on you want it to be coming through here so that whatever is coming through the headset y'all can hear so if i play something right now through here it's gonna be what y'all get on the output so you don't want to click nothing else besides whatever you're listening through i don't know about a two pc setup it's not for a two PC setup. Microphone is the one I got connected right now. It's a snowball, but video. I already said this. Um, everything here is default. These are all default. I have no stream delay. If you want to put on a stream delay, go ahead and type in 120 seconds for two minutes, uh, 300 for five minutes. However much you want to put, and then make sure you click enable. Automatically reconnect. I got it on enable network all that stuff default and then that's pretty much it and then i'm gonna talk about real quick for anybody who having what do you call it i don't know why my junk said this be tweaking bro like it's always popping up but it's activate i don't know what's going on dog oh if you uh getting fps drops like stutters and hitching and you got geforce uh experience on this gonna fix it Pretty sure, like, I'm like 95% sure this will fix it for you. If your graphics card is not shit and you just like, like, bro, why I got a decent graphics card, I'm trying to play and it just keeps stuttering and stuff, just turn this off, bro. People I've heard that turn this off, as soon as they turn it off, they're like, bro, I'm, it's not happening no more. I'm like, yeah, that's what I did. I just turn it off. Turn this off if you don't need to be going for clips. Because if I have this on and I stream and I'm playing, then I just begin stutters. Especially when I'm on native, I just begin stutters because I already don't play on like the lowest settings. I got my post scale on like a medium. But besides that, just turn this off. If you don't need to be going for clips, you just want to play and stream, turn that off and you should be good. Um, that's pretty much it with that. And I think that's it. That's pretty much everything that everybody was hitting me up about. My PC setup, specs, all that stuff would be whatever you want to call it uh, my PC specs will be in the description I'll have a link to everything so you can be able to see if you got something like a close PC to mine or a similar PC to mine as in like processor strength GPU power same GPU or whatever and you can't stream then you probably can use the exact settings I'm using or just take them as like you know like a benchmark and just like move them up or down and play with it a little bit it's gonna take a lot of test streams like your bitrate like if you have on 2500, you know, like I look, you got stronger internet, more internet bandwidth to give up. You can raise it a little bit more. And I would just really want to show y'all my settings. So people keep asking me this where I'm going to link them because people have, like I said, better PCs than I do and they can't stream 
and they got decent internet because their settings their encoder settings are not good so these are my settings uh, if this was helpful to y'all make sure i hit that young know, like button the main thing i do want to put emphasis on is that geforce that does cause a whole bunch of hitching and like stutters you don't have the best um graphics card and you want to make sure that's always updated my settings like i said if it's helpful hit that young like button sub to the channel because we post pretty much every upload pretty much every day whatever montages tutorials whatever y'all ask y'all need help with y'all can hit me up on twitter instagram both at sterlive2x and that's pretty much it for this video man make sure y'all use that supporter creator code sterlive hit that young like button i said that already i'm gonna say it again uh but that's pretty much it i catch y'all boys in the next I think that's not, not a heat right here. No. That's fine. You don't get here in time. Dead. Yeah, breeze.